Hello, and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. I was asked recently how I upload custom thumbnails to workshop items um, that we have. So when you take a blueprint, normally you get the default picture uh, that comes with the saving of the blueprint. So if I press Alt-O on the mandible here, we'll get the, uh, the interface to save the blueprint. And as you can see, the thumbnail for the mandible at the moment is the basic one. It's kind of, you know, it doesn't have any picture. It's got another ship in it. It's whatever angle I was at when I saved it. Uh, it's not quite what we want to upload to the workshop. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we create some of the nice fancy thumbnails with the name of the ship and some key information in it for the workshop. Now, if you're not sure what I mean, have a look on the workshop and have a look at some of the more popular builders out there. Jay Randall, for example, is brilliant at this sort of thing. Every one of his ships has got a custom kind of frame and outline to each of his thumbnails, as we can see here. Not only that, what Jay Randall also does, which is very good, is he photographs his ships in various environments and situations. Um, creating some very nice atmospheric shots. Even the tilt of the shot is uh, is pretty good here. You can tell that he puts a lot of effort and a lot of thought into each one of the pictures on his workshop. And not only has he got obviously fantastic builds, which is very helpful, but he's got fantastic pictures and presentation of his builds, which means that he often arrives on the front page of the workshop quite reliably. So I'm going to show you how to sort of do that. Now, with the mandible here, I've already saved the blueprint. So that's great. That's the first step. The next thing we're going to do while we're in the game here is actually take a bunch of, bunch of pictures. The first thing is hiding the UI. You can do that with F6. You might need to hit it twice. The first one hides things like names, waypoints, that sort of stuff. The second one hides the entire UI. And this is how you get into kind of picture mode with Imperion. Right, the next thing you want to do, I mean... I'm not going to go to the full length that Jay Randall does. I'm going to be a bit lazy today, and we're just going to take a bunch of basic pictures of the mandible here, just to give you an idea of what sort of pictures people, I think, are interested in on the workshop and how, how we go about taking them. I'm not going to go to different suns and planets and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> we're just going to get to the point here. Okay, so, um, I don't know, just, just put your ship of a vessel base or whatever into somewhere nice with lots of light it's important that people can actually see what the hell you're trying to show so lots of light is important and what you can do is you can sort of park the ship in a, in a kind of funny angle like the sv here it's on a kind of tilt over so it's, it's sort of almost like a banking action shot um use v to go into third person and first person cameras you want to be in first person when you're taking pictures you don't want the back of your head in the pictures of course and then what you can do is you position yourself in various uh, directions around your ship and just hit F12. F12, the standard Steam screenshot key, uh, will hit up a screenshot and you can just go around and take a bunch of pictures of your ship. Now, once you've taken all the pictures that you want to take, there are two more you want to take um, that are obviously kind of very useful for people looking at your builds on the workshop. So, taking all the pictures uh, you're happy with, hit F7 again, uh, sorry, F6 again to bring up the um, the HUD. Then go ahead and hit the P key and just top up the fuel tanks, make sure everything is kind of topped up. Uh, hit the uh, statistics page and take uh, a screenshot of that statistics page. That gives people the general stats of the craft in terms of flight mechanics. Here we can see the mandibles, 106 meters a second acceleration and, and so on and so forth. The other screenshot you want is go ahead and hit F2 and make sure you've got the ship highlighted in your blueprints list and take a screenshot of the resources required here. This is very important as well for people to see what kind of stage of the game they can bring it in in a picture rather than having to read all of the blurb and stuff like that. Our next step is actually outside of the game itself. Okay, there are two folders you need to locate. The first one is in the Imperial Galactic Survival Installation folder, wherever you've installed the game to. If you're not sure where that, where that is, you can go ahead into Steam, right click on the game itself, and go to Properties, Local Files, and then Browse. And that will take you straight to the installation folder. From there, you want to go to Saves, Blueprint, your Steam ID number, and then the name of the blueprint in question. In this case, it's the mandible. Once we've located that folder, perfect. Put it to one side. While we're back into Steam, go to uh, View at the top here, and then Screenshots. It should give you the screenshots of your last session. Click Show on Disk. There you go, you can now minimize Steam. Now, 
If you're like me, you've taken a bazillion screenshots of things in Imperion, scroll right to the bottom, that's where your latest screenshots will be. Now, this is where things get a little bit complicated. You want to open up whatever your photo editing application of choice is. In my case, Photoshop. Go ahead and open that up. Now, for me in th Photoshop, I've already got a template saved for a standard thumbnail, which is about 120, uh, sorry, 1280 by 720 um, with a 300 PPL. And uh, I can sort of just open that up and I get the right size uh, for a Steam thumbnail. Now, if we go back to our screenshots folder, what we're going to do is we're just going to cycle through these pictures to find the best one that represents the ship and that you want to be your thumbnail on the workshop. I'm going to choose the first one here, which is uh, probably the sort of, I suppose, the one that gives the, the best sort of frontal picture. I don't know. <laughs> Just pick whatever one you think is best and pop that into your photo editor. Now, obviously, I'm not going to take you through how to create a thumbnail. That's going to be up to you guys. Put the name in there, put whatever information you think is relevant in there, like the unlock uh, unlock level, um, maybe the resource count, maybe the stage of game that you have it in. Maybe it's a tier one, tier two, that sort of thing uh, on the CPU. Early game, starter, that sort of information so that people looking can see at a glance straight away what the ship's intention is and whether they need to go and click on it or not. Once you've got your screenshot done and you're happy with it, um, go ahead and export that as a JPEG file and just pop that in a folder somewhere. Okay, you can go ahead and close or minimize the air photo editor now. Just take a note of the name of the ship in your Steam Blueprint, uh, sorry, your, your Imperium Blueprints folder here. So we got SAS mandible.jpg. That's the default picture. Now, if we go to where the picture that we just edited was, the SAS Mandible, just make sure that the name is identical. The file name is identical. So you can just drag and drop that over and overwrite the default picture in your Blueprints folder. Okay, so the edited photo I just created, I just um, moved to the Blueprints folder of the ship that I'm saving to the workshop and it overwrote the default picture with the edited one. Okay. Now we can go back into the game and if we close and reopen our blueprints library we can see for the ship here the thumbnail has now updated to the one that we want it to be this is the moment we hit that publish button go ahead and hit publish and just tick make sure it's set to private to start off with it's airtight i don't know why that's more important than everything else but elion seems to want that to be there uh so yeah it's airtight and hit publish Okay, off it goes onto the workshop, okay. But most importantly, we've kept it private for now. So now we come again out of the game and this time head into whatever browser of choice. I advise not using Steam for this step and just using whatever browser um, you're sort of most familiar with and happy using. Um, just head over to Steam and log in. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to navigate to your workshop page on steam once you're logged in that's quite easily you, you go to sort of your profile and you can go straight to workshop uploads from there the other alternative is to find the game go to the workshop page and then go to the files you've uploaded once you've found your workshop page on your browser here again try not to use steam it's really important because steam doesn't have a very good um, system for uploading photos to its workshop whereas Steam within a browser, for some reason, does. Uh, on Steam, the app, you can only upload one photo at a time. Uh, on the browser, you can upload 10 at a time. So if you've taken lots of pictures, you're gonna save yourself lots of time just by going through a browser rather than going through the Steam app. Okay, so we can click into uh, the mandible here, which we've uploaded. And um, as you can see, it's currently hidden. It's not visible yet, but we've got the thumbnail that we wanted. Okay, so that's the all important bit. Now we get to do all the other stuff like add a description and upload our photos. Let's do the photos first. So add edit images and stuff, um, choose your files. And this is where it's useful to have that folder open from the Steam screenshots that we have opened before, because you can just copy the address straight out of the Windows um, uh, file explorer there and just paste it straight into the open window there and you're straight there and you can just scroll down to the pictures you've taken. Now, remember, you can only select about 10 at a time. Um, so go ahead and just select the first 10 pictures and open 
and then upload. That'll take a few seconds to upload them, depending on your internet speeds, of course. Uh, and then you just click choose files again. Select the next 10. Oh my God. That's all of them for me. And upload. Once you've uploaded all your pictures, saving it in here. There you go. You got the thumbnail and all of the screenshots you took of your ship. Now, obviously, the more creative and uh, thorough you are with your screenshots, um, the more appreciative I think people are when they're browsing the workshop trying to find nice builds that they want to download. Uh, so this is the point where you then edit the description, um, whatever you want. This is entirely up to you. And there we have it. We have our screenshots, we have our thumbnail, we have our full description. Um, add any other links and stuff that you may have to your YouTube channel so that people can find your content while they browse the workshop as well. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Now, do be careful if you need to update your blueprints because when you resave a blueprint, say if I was to modify the mandible here and overwrite the blueprint that exists there, it will also overwrite the thumbnail. However, that will not overwrite the thumbnail on Steam until you press the update button, which which you can't see here because there isn't an update. Uh, but there will be an update button that appears. Now, it'll only overwrite the thumbnail on Steam if you press that update button. Now, all you need to do if you do update your ship is re-replace that screenshot, the default one, with your updated one once again. So the default one will be overwritten the next time you save the blueprint. Simply recopy the thumbnail that you made over the exist uh, over the default one again and then press the update button in game in order to update the screenshot the thumbnail once more on steam that way you can update freely uh, but if you obviously do forget to do that or maybe you, you lose the thumbnail somehow then you will have to recreate it but hopefully this video is going to be helpful in you doing that anyway that's it once you're ready to actually uh put it public and and allow people to look at it and subscribe you just click change visibility here and set to public and away you go that's it you have now updated and uploaded uh your ships on steam uh with some great screenshots and a great thumbnail and hopefully that will get you some more attention on the workshop and more people can enjoy your builds and uh there we go hopefully you've enjoyed this video hopefully you found it useful do let me know down below uh if you did didn't um maybe you got some tips of your own that i've missed out please do share anyway thank you very much for watching uh i do very much appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you next time until then take care bye bye